Well, millions of Americans will certainly be celebrating their love along with their faith today. And as Fox's Nate Foy tells us, some are rewriting the rule book for relationships and dating. Love it or hate it, Valentine's Day is here. Everybody wants connection. Everyone wants to find love. And how people are choosing to celebrate is veering from tradition, starting with younger generations who are tired of swiping, instead engaging in intentional dating and rewriting the rule book. People are letting go of being outcome oriented. People would go out there with the intention of marriage and life partnership and all of that. Now I'm seeing that people are just concerned with the moment. Also flipping the script, older Americans. 30% of those aged 50 and older are single according to Pew Research and many are getting back out there. And there's the golden bachelor effect that's happening where now it's sexy and trendy to be dating after 50. If you're unattached, experts urge you to just get out there, especially younger generations. Expect the unexpected, but don't expect anything if you don't get out the door. Data from event ticketing site Eventbrite shows an 85% surge in group events. People are expanding beyond just romantic love and getting together with friends with the possibility of meeting other singles and experts say it's a good strategy you might be talking to someone and a single person is watching your energy and then they come up to you that happens a lot your chances will go up if you put yourself in situations where other singles are hanging out even those who are coupled up are shifting gears ditching traditional gifts for shared experiences going to a comedy club going to an amusement park going maybe to a trivia night um, doing things that create a sense of not only adventure but some competition that helps a relationship thrive the science shows that relationships that have these sort of activities do better in the long run but having a valentine's date night isn't the only time couples should be spending together just because you're together doesn't mean you stop dating you have to date forever. Cupid's arrow not striking everybody. 47% of adults say they don't plan to celebrate Valentine's Day this year, according to WalletHub. In New York, Nate Foy, Fox News.